this is part 11 on the mongrel build. My steel supply has just turned up today. It was meant to be a Tuesday, and it's now Friday, just turned up. So that's why there hasn't been much going on with this over the past few days. But I've got everything I need now to really smash into this. Haven't got much time to work on it today, so what I'm gonna aim to do is just do the panel which is going to sit in the center of the boot. So I need to um, drag these sheets in and then uh, we can get going on that. Urch fabs. Yes, he does. First job then, just measure up, measure up this hole and uh, cut a piece to fill it in. Job done, welder in. Would I, would I ever. All right, so this is just what I've marked from underneath. We're gonna have a fold down this end. I wanna step this edge on the outside so that when I put another panel over the top, it'll sit flat. So if that's, the, if that's where the chassis leg is, like that, and you've got the spot welds, spot welding this on, this outer edge here will be stepped down a little bit so that the panel will come flat across the other chassis leg and um, sit flat across the top of the leg because otherwise when I go to put the other panel on I'm going to spot weld it to the um, other lip of the chassis leg and it will be bent upwards over this bit in the middle. You'll see when I do it, but um, yeah, so I just want to get some sort of like bead rolling into this. Which is, this is 1.5, so it's, it's harder to bead roll, but it will do it. And then, uh, so I'll probably just follow the outside line of this leg around like that. And then I might just do like a normal type, like an actual bead in the middle just to stop this drumming or anything um, so I might do a cross in the middle or what I usually do rather than do a cross is like do kind of like that so you don't have to cross over the bead in the middle of the panel and then I want to have as little as little overlap of the two panels as possible because the more overlap you have the more chance it will rust in between the uh, joins so as little overlap as possible I try and join these bits in flush to what's left on the car and then obviously this this is going to be like spot welded all the way up and then I just do like stitch welds around where it overlaps and then probably just stitch weld it along the, on the back panel. That's the plan, so uh, clean the edges up of this, cut around this somewhere fairly close to uh, what's there, and then we'll, we'll trim it to fit at the end.
So this is the layout I'm going for. I'm going to roll these beads first, then do the perimeter with like a step. So it'll have sort of like the, give it the pressing look. Alright, so uh, you can see how much more this type of bead warps the panel. But um, generally, whenever you're making a panel, you're usually fitting it into something square. So this is going to have to be bent into those chassis legs. It's going to be welded square along there, and then it'll have a fold in this bottom edge. So this, the fold on this edge will keep it square this way. This has got a bend to follow those chassis legs anyway because there's a bit of a dip in them. And then this is going to be welded along something that's flat. So by the time this is all clamped in and welded, it's going to be as flat as it needs to be, regardless of the fact that it looks like a Pringle right now. Um, yeah, it'll look fine when it's in there though. So what we need now is our uh, step along this edge. So that, that will step will sit inside the channel of the chassis leg and then the other piece can sit over the top and still fit flush. So now I need a well, 15mm lip along the end of there. Just got to flatten the last 20mm of that. Got some uh, world through primer on the legs. People, quite a few people ask me if I use it. Yes, I do.
she's in. See, this is what I meant about having the little uh, ridge so that that sits flush, otherwise it would have been bent upwards. But this turned out sweet, that's nice and flat all the way across the back of there. Um, yeah, fits in nice. So from here out I'll do one mil, which will come out to the uh, panels in here. And I just stitched it along the back panel. Alright, job done. Another job out of the way. I will stitch weld this panel to the chassis leg from the underside. But I'll do that once it's rolled over and I can just weld it from underneath. Weld it from the top rather than crawling around underneath to try and do it. The chassis legs and everything hold it nice and flat. There's a curve here obviously where these legs come down, which it has to follow. but all that sort of like Pringled effect is gone because it's uh, been forced to follow the lines of the uh, legs and this back bit. So it sits in there nice and flat. I'm happy with that. So yeah, getting chilly in there now. I did pick up a gas space heater, but after looking at um, the gas consumption on it, it's like 4.6 kilograms an hour. A big gas bottle, which is 45 kilograms, would cost me 75 quid, plus 50 quid for the bottle. It's 125 quid. And that, if I add it on, you know, non-stop, that would last for about six hours. And that's uh, gonna be an expensive way of trying to keep warm. So I'm looking at infrared, um, lamps now. Loads of people have said about doing a burner system. I'd actually quite like to build a burner, but with the roof being so tall, I don't think it's gonna be possible. Plus, I'm not even sure I'd be allowed to do it. I wouldn't wanna go through the actual roof because it's asbestos. And if I go out through the wall at the side, then the top of the um, exhaust chimney is gonna to have to be above the peak of the roof, otherwise it just won't draw enough air through to burn very well. I put one in my old workshop and had that set up where it came out of the side of the building and the top of it just wasn't high enough and if, if the wind was going in the right direction, you'd be able to have a good fire. And if it wasn't, you just, it wouldn't draw very well. I'm looking into infrared heating. I think that could be the way to go. But yeah, that's it for now. Um, got everything I need now, so I'm going to be really smashing into this next week. So yeah, cheers for watching, see you on the next one.